Uh, good morning, Ty. Thank you for being with us. Do um, you think baseball realizes that? We did see ratings decrease in the NFL after the national anthem protest. We did see ratings increase in the NBA after they fully embraced the message of social justice warriors. you think baseball realizes they could be hurting their potential revenue, audience, fans? Uh, good morning, Will. How are you doing? I'm good. Um, thanks, man. Yeah, uh, you know, I... In regards to the thoughts about it, I, I really don't know. I can't really speak on that. But I will just say that I think that uh, sports are kind of a getaway from regular life uh, for people. And um, I think that we probably should keep politics away from that, that, uh, that kind of entertainment uh, just because I think, uh, I think people get so much of it on a daily basis. Like, um, and I just think it's really important to kind of you know, stay away from as much as you can. Yeah, I think you're right, Ty. We have few, so few places left in our culture that are refuges away from our political fights. And it, it seems now that sports is no longer one of those, those refuges. Here's a quote from Masters uh, Chairman Fred Ridley on the boycott over Georgia voting law. He says, we realize that views and opinions on this law differ, and there have been calls for boycotts and other punitive measures. Unfortunately, those actions often impose on the greatest burden on the most vulnerable in our society, talking about hurting potential businesses there in the Atlanta area after baseball pulled out. But Ty, I want to ask you about a new Fox Nation show that you're a part of. It's about youth pitch of faith. It's available now, and it's about your journey being drafted first over or first in the first round by the Yankees, fighting through some injuries and finding your way back to the majors. Let's take a quick look at the clip from the Fox Nation show. I'm gonna beat this train, man. I'm done sitting here feeling sorry for myself. Ty Hensley has history here tonight. Ty, tell us about the show and your journey in baseball. Yeah, Pitch of Faith is pretty much just a kind of a walkthrough of, of my career over the uh, over the past several years. And uh, unfortunately, it's been filled with a lot more uh, uh, valleys than peaks. Um, but I think now everything that I've uh, that I've been through has kind of led me to where I'm at now. And um, I just think it's a good uh, good story for people to see kind of like it's just not it's not all sunshine and rainbows all the time. And, uh, you know, in order to get to where you want to go, no matter what you want to do, you have to uh, you have to really work for it. Yeah, really quickly, Ty, can you just tell me the list of injuries you've suffered since being drafted in the first round by the Yankees? Yeah, get your notepads ready. <laughs> um, let's see. 2013, I had uh, right hip surgery uh, just to uh, fix my uh, fix my joint in the labor in there. And yep. then. Uh, about seven weeks later, I had my left hip done. And then two weeks after my left hip, I had no noticed that I had like a like an abscess forming. And um, come to find out, I had a staph infection. And so I had two more surgeries to clean that out um, in June of that year. Yep. Fast forward, spring training of 2014, I had um, a sports hernia repair. Um, played that season finally. And then fast forward later, I had my second Tommy John. So oh, I hadn't man. even got, gotten <laughs> back into game competition yet. Yeah. And uh, so I had my second Tommy John in 2016. I get rule five to the Rays, or essentially traded. And beginning of 2017, kind of when I start throwing the hitters and stuff again, I, I broke. The list of injuries is so long, I actually have run out of time and up against a commercial break. But two hips, two Tommy Johns, <laughs> a broken elbow, a torn ab, a staph infection. Look. Hey, we all know this. Anyone who's been involved in sports, it's about resilience. It is about the valleys as much as the peaks. And faith is one of the things that can help people guide them through that journey. Uh, Ty, we look forward to seeing your story on Fox Nation Pitch of Faith. Thanks for sharing just a little bit of it right now this morning.